Okay, in this lecture we're going to use the left, right, and mid functions to sort a fixed width string of data into separate columns to make that data easier to read and easier to use for other calculations. Let's look at an example and I'll explain more what fixed width string means because that's an important phrase to make these functions work correctly. So here we have our good old sales rep spreadsheet and of course I've done some changes to it again. What we've done is added over in the A column here a rep ID code and this is our fixed width string. So as you can see these all follow the same format and they all have the same number of characters. And what we're going to do is we're going to take these rep ID codes and we're going to sort them separating them out into these different columns. So I'll add a definition in here and then I'll explain how this works. So you can see here, the first number in each of these rep ID codes is the rep's ID number. So you can see Janet is rep number one, Carol is two, Joe is three, Bob's four, Marcy's five. The second number is the rep's initial. So J for Janet, C for Carol, J for Joe, and so on. The third number is the rep's region. So we have E for East and W for West all through the list. And then the fourth character is their sales group. So we have A, A, C, B, and C. So basically all of the reps are sorted into the sales group A, B, or C. But the important thing about this fixed width string is that each of these codes have the same number of characters and each character is in the same spot in each string. So their rep ID code is the far left, their initial, is the second to the left, their region is third to the left, and their sales group, A, B, or C, is the last one, or the furthest one to the right. And that's really critical. You have to have these formatted correctly. If I add a space in here, or if I add another random character, then it's going to throw off the calculation for this particular cell, and it's gonna mess up our sorting with our left, right, and mid functions. So basically, the moral of the story is look through your data, make sure that it qualifies as a fixed width string. Typically, these are going to be like rep ID numbers or inventory codes from a catalog, but make sure that all of your data is consistent in every cell, and that will make your left, right, and mid functions work better. So let's start by creating a left function to pull our rep ID number from the left side of this rep ID code. So the first thing we're going to do, of course, is push our equal key. And then, I don't think it's showing up right here, because I haven't used left for a while. So I'm going to go ahead and go to our formulas tab, go to text, and go to left, and click it. That brings up our function arguments box. And you can see this is quite a bit simpler than our VLOOKUP. So it's just asking for the text that we are referring to, which of course is our rep ID code. So we just click on that. And then the number of characters, and again, this is why the fixed width string is so important. The number of characters from the left is just one character. If you wanted to take the one and the J, then you would say two characters. But because this is our left function, it's going to find the leftmost character, and then we're going to tell it how many characters from the left it wants to grab. In this case, we just want the rep ID number, so we're just going to click 1 and click OK. And then I'll show you one other trick. You remember how we normally grab this and drag it down? Well, you can also copy this to the bottom of your list here just by using your skinny plus sign and then double clicking it, and it automatically copies it to the bottom of the column. And you can see that this left function is working perfectly. It's grabbed all of the rep ID numbers off of the left side of our rep ID code. All right, so let's go ahead and do a mid function to grab the region code out of the middle here, the east and west out of the middle of this rep ID code. So again, we'll click our equal sign, and I'll go to my drop down and look for the mid. It's not in there either. I haven't used it for a while. So I'll just type in mid. And I'm just showing you various ways to do these 
so you can kind of see what the options are and use the one that works the best for you. So I type in mid and then I can either click on it here or I can just type in the left bracket or parentheses or just hit the tab key and then see normally it would bring up my function argument box but where I've just typed this in it's giving me hints here. So I can just follow along the hints here too and I can get away with not even using that function argument box. So for mid it's looking for the text that I'm looking for which of course is the same cell here so I'll click that and it's looking for the start number because with mid you have to designate where in the middle you want it to start and we don't want the first digit because that's their rep ID number we don't want the second digit because that's the sales reps initial we want the third digit so I'm gonna hit a comma and the number three then comma again and then it's asking for the number of characters that I want. Well, I really only want that one character. Otherwise, it will bring me back the E and the A. So I'm just going to say one character again. And then you can either manually close the brackets by putting a bracket, or Excel is smart enough to know that it has to add that. So you just hit Enter, and you can see it brings back the E for Region East. And then, of course, we'll copy this down by double-clicking it. And it's doing everything correctly west, west, east and west. So that's our mid function. And just in case that was confusing at all, let me go back and show you how to do it with the function arguments box. Just so we're not losing anybody. The equal sign. We can go to text or we can go to insert function. And we're under text already so we'll sort down for mid. Double click mid. And it brings up our function arguments box. And these are the same fields that we were seeing underneath our formula as we were typing it in. The text that we're going to sort from is right here. The starting numbers is going to be 1, 2, 3 in from the left. So we put in the 3. The number of characters, we just want the 1 character. So we type in 1. And you can see that it's created the formula exactly how we typed it in before when we weren't using the function arguments box. But this just makes it a little more straightforward. And then we click OK. And it brings back our E. Copy it down by double clicking on the corner. And there's our function copied down, working perfectly. And finally, let's go do a write sort function. And we'll sort out our sales group, which is A, B, or C from the right hand column. So again, we type equals, we'll do insert function. It's already on text, so I'm going to sort down to right. There's our function arguments box. Our text, of course, is the same. First column fixed with string entry over here. And the number of characters, notice we don't have to designate how far over it is like we did in the mid because it's just going to start from the very right. If we put two characters, then it would bring back EA, WA, WC, but we just want the very far right. So we're just going to say one character and click OK. And you can see it brings back sales group A. Double click it to bring it down and double check everything. And we have A, A, C, B, C. So that's how you use left, right, and mid functions to sort a fixed string of data into separate columns to make this data easier to view and easier to use in other calculations.